you guys, Tiffany here and welcome to Our Organic Life. Happy Thanksgiving week. Um, if you're watching this now, uh, I think I would manage to get this up before Thanksgiving. But if not, happy belated Thanksgiving. So today is the day. It is Sunday before Thanksgiving. It's time for us to process the turkeys for Thanksgiving. And so what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to process the turkeys because you need to let them rest for 48 hours to let that rigor mortis kind of exit the body. Um, we are doing this on Sunday. That gives us plenty of time for them to rest and in the fridge so that they are ready for Thanksgiving. They'll never be frozen and we will have our fresh home-raised turkey for Thanksgiving this year and we are super excited. Thankfully, processing a turkey is not far from processing a chicken. So because we had the experience of processing the chickens, we're gonna go ahead and share with you guys this time us processing the turkeys. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick tour of our stations and show you everything that we are using to process the turkeys. I do wanna take a moment at this point to give a forewarning. We are not going to show the actual dispatching of the, of the turkey, but we are gonna be showing a lot of other stuff and if you are squeamish or you can't handle blood, I would suggest going ahead and leaving now. I, won't, I will not be offended. It's not for everyone, but if you want to learn or see how it is done, this video is for you. So the first station we have here, this is our uh, homemade DIY kill cone for turkeys. And if you haven't seen it or you are interested, I have a video on how to make this yourself for, I believe less than $10, but definitely less than $20. So this is our uh, dispatch station. And then from there we move over here, actually, sorry. So this is our dispatch station. Then after they are dispatched, we uh, let them bleed out. We will hang them and uh, pluck them or defeather them. We do not have a uh, uh, plucker. We're gonna do this by hand. We'll show you guys that during this video. The next station is the dressing table. Um, I've already sanitized the table. It's all clean and ready to go. These are our knives that we are using today. Uh, they're actually a Finnish brand. We're trying them out. I'll let you guys know how these go. They're really sharp. So, so far we're pretty happy with them, but they are basically paring knives or fillet knives, they're fillet knives. But um, if we like them, I will share a link in the description down below where you can get these. The last stop is this cooler here. Now I don't think we're gonna be able to fit our large turkey in it. This is uh, gonna have ice, an ice bath. Hi, beam. Yes, I know. Um, this is going to be our ice bath where we will let them rest in the ice water to get chilled quickly. Um, like I said, I don't think our bigger turkey is going to fit in, but our smaller turkey I think is going to definitely fit in there. So we'll let them rest in there and then they will move on to the fridge. So we have the turkeys hanging out in the trailer. The two turkeys that we bought earlier this year, they have gotten very big. Hi babies, I know. That's just something they do when it's hot out and we're in Florida, it's still warm, so we aren't getting cold temperatures. But, so, I'm estimating she's probably gonna be about 20, up 20 pounds dressed, maybe 15. He's probably gonna, he might be a 30 pounder, he's pretty big. So, we shall see. Okay, so the head's removed. Next thing we are doing is now we are gonna dry pluck her. And that is mainly because she's so big we could not, we don't have a pot big enough to scald her. So we're gonna start plucking. We are gonna have to come back through and remove some pin feathers. It's actually not as hard as I thought it would be. I'm actually kind of like I kind of I'm actually kind of liking the dry plucking a little bit better. It don't stick to your hand as much. Yeah. Whereas when we were plucking the chicken's feathers, you'd it have. It is slower because you can't get as many at one time. No, no, I'm literally pulling them out in chunks. Where are you at, bro? On the on the breast. Yeah, 
And don't worry about past the elbow, because I'm just gonna cut that off. Which one right here? Yeah, where the elbow is, because there's no meat on that. I'm, I don't yeah, want really Yeah, there's no point in wasting time plucking that. We'll just cut that off. Okay, so apparently I forgot to press record, but basically I removed the feet off and you basically just slice around the exterior of the skin to expose the joint, cut the tendons, and then you just slide the knife in between the uh, bones and the joint and those come off. And then we have the wings here. You'll notice that the tips are gone and we aren't gonna keep the tips because there is no meat on the wing tips. It's pretty much a waste of time cleaning them. So we, uh, only cleaned to that joint there, and then we cut them off and put them in the bucket. Now, nothing um, is going to waste today. Anything that we don't use personally, we are donating to a local wildlife rescue, wildlife sanctuary, and so nothing goes to waste. So I've come around here and I've cut, off, cut the uh, neck skin around to expose the neck, and we've got the trachea, all this right here. So I got that situated. I'm gonna open up the chest right here. Just gonna kind of cut the skin open a little bit so I can get in. All right, and we're looking for the crop. So let me see if I can maybe turn this so you guys can see it. So, and you wanna be careful um, cutting, the, uh, cutting it away from the walls. You wanna just pull it all together. I'm just gonna pull all this fat out. It's kind of surprising how much fat she's got in here. Maybe that's what it would be. Come on. Baby, my butt's ringing. <laughs> What up, dog? Hey, what do I want to make for dinner? <laughs> she does this to me. <laughs> well, we're currently processing a turkey. I don't want to cook turkey right now. I'm going to cook turkey like, in like three days. And have chicken. And have chicken. Ooh, chicken. Small turkey. Small turkey. Tiny boy. Chicken. I'll do chicken. I'm going to do a chicken half. Chicken half. I got a turkey hole. Well, yeah, I mean, you're also feeding multiple people. I'm feeding three, myself being one of them. What do I do with a turkey like? That's not that bad. <laughs> okay, what else do I make with the chicken with barbecue flavoring on it? Um. Uh. Asparagus and mashed potatoes, you read my mind. There you go. That's a good idea. Okay, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'm like literally hand deep in a turkey right now. We're dressing it. Oh, okay. Well, I love you. Bye-bye. All right. Love you. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I got trachea, the, uh, all that, and here's the crop, which connects to all this. We do not want to cut the crop. This is basically their stomach. This is where the food, food sits and grinds up. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this out as much as possible and I'm going to kind of pinch it and we're going to cut through at the, at the base of the tubing and then pull it all out. So I'm going to start right here. Cut it all. There we go. And then set that to the side. I'm going to Finish cutting through the skin around the neck. And then we're going to just peel it all off. And that's going to be go. some good numbs. Ch turkey neck. Okay, so we've got the neck cleaned, the crop removed, wing tips removed, 
feet removed, now we are going to remove the uh, internal organs. So we've got the turkey breast up, we've got the vent over here. So you don't want to just cut because basically you want to remove the whole tubing out at once. So actually I'm going to flip it over on this chest because I need to start on the tail. All right, so on the at the head of the tail you might see a gland, that is an oil gland. You're going to just kind of just pass there, lightly nick. start to cut down because we're going to take the whole tail off. All right, and you're going to start to see some meat. And once you hit that ligament, it'll just suddenly release and relax down. That's what you want. Now, I can't see it all that well, but as I'm cutting through, I'm going to start to expose the cavity. Now, you want to be careful cutting down into here because you will, once that you get through the uh, vertebrae, that's when you are into the cavity and that is where that, that uh, intestinal tract is. You do not want to cut that because you can, that's where all of their stuff is, for a lack of a better word. There we go. Okay, all right, I just cut through the vertebrae and I'm just gonna kind of gingerly cut through down the sides. Let the weight of the blade start to cut through until you start to see a tube. All right, so now we're starting to get exposed here to the inner cavity, and you can see everything. So I'll start coming down on the sides. She's got a lot of fat in here. Like a lot of fat. Holy crap. She'll stay juicy. All right, so this is the uh, lower intestine. There is a little bit of connective tissue here. I'm just going to kind of bring that down. And then I'm going to cut down and under the vent. So I'm going to go ahead and start working my way down the side. Careful to avoid the uh, intestinal tract. All right, now I'm going to turn it over. Okay, so now I'm starting to get it open. And here's the cavity. Now we wanna try and pull this out a little bit. Should release. Make sure we got everything kind of separated. All right, so I'm open this up a little bit. start to release. There we go. Oh babe, can you move my phone? <laughs> Thank you. Alright. And so there's the lower intestine. Cut this up a little bit more so I have more room to work. Alright, and we're gonna just start pulling all of this out. It's really all connected by connective tissue so it should start to just kind of come out and because we cut it at the head it'll all come out from the front all right she's got so much I can't get over how much fat she's got in here all right so I'm gonna reach into the cavity and I'm gonna kind of try and scoop break all the connective tissue and try and just pull everything out Probably still have to come back in for the lungs. The lungs are always kind of a pain in the butt to get. There we go. All right, 
some good sized liver. Mm-hmm. Your mama gonna be happy. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna scoop out the, almost got one of the lungs. So there's a lung. Okay, so let's scoop out this excess fat. So this is just fat that she had on lining the inside. There is still some residual lung. Make sure you get that all out. There we go. I hate the way the lungs look. <laughs> they look so funky. <laughs> there we go. All right, okay, so fat. All right, so we've got the heart, trachea, liver. There's, okay, so here is the uh, gizzard right here completely covered in fat. There's the gallbladder. You don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and cut out the liver because my mom loves the livers. So the only thing about the liver is there is a part where it is actually kind of part of the liver. So I'm going to cut off this one half of the liver just to play safe. So kind of locate, keep an eye on where that gallbladder is because you do not want to cut the gallbladder. Very nasty. Yep. It was the bile. Alright, so here's one section of the liver. And then that's where right, it's so connected. there's that's where it is connected. So let me just you will lose a little bit of the liver, but you can save most of it. Alright, so I'm gonna cut leave a gap. My mom's gonna be so happy. Look at that. That's, that's a lot. Good size liver. That's a lot of liver. All right, and so here we go. Here's the full intestinal tract into the bucket for the beasties, and that is done. Um, we're gonna go ahead and remove the neck and store that separately, just because we won't cook it with. Just... We go fill the cooler with water. All right. He's gonna go get the ice bath ready so that it is cold. I'll just kind of clean out some of this excess fat. All right, time for the neck. I'm gonna flip it over. All right, I'm gonna cut it around. There we go, and then there's the neck. And these are the three parts that we save. We don't really eat the gizzard. But here we go. Clean turkey. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna come through and remove these pins, all these pins that are left with some tweezers. Ready? Yep. All right. I'm gonna take her over to the ice bath. Oh, she heavy. Woo. So in the end, the female turkey ended up coming out to 22 pounds and the male turkey ended up coming out to 34 pounds. I have never in my life had a turkey this huge. This definitely is not for everyone. We are sad to see them go. You definitely feel the weight of taking the life of an animal, but at the same time, we are very happy to have this humanely sourced turkey for our Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. So thank you so much for, for stopping in, you guys. I hope that this video was helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer any. If I can help, I want to. And you guys have a wonderful, safe, and blessed Thanksgiving.